Did you know there were saber-toothed animals still living today? From fanged fish to felines, here are the top 12 saber-toothed animals still living and extinct. Number 12. Gorgonops In ancient Greece, the legend of the Gorgons spoke of three snake-haired sisters, Stheno, Eurail, and Medusa, who were able to turn anyone who met their gazes into hard, cold stone. The Gorgonops is a creature that was named after these mythical sisters in the 1800s by a man named Richard Owen. It's believed that this fanged predator was among the few species that are recognized as the ancestors to some of the world's earliest mammals. This means that it might have had something between a cold and warm-blooded metabolism, making it a truly unique outlier in the animal kingdom, where most creatures fall firmly into being either cold or warm-blooded exclusively. The Gorgonops likely had a very thick skull to protect its massive fangs, which it would have used to pierce the thick hides of many of the herbivores that were living during this era. With an alligator-like head but a mammal-like body, this creature had an appearance that caused it to look something like a vicious serpent and a large hairless dog. Number 11. Gomphotaria The Gomphotaria was a creature that was essentially a modern-day walrus, but with one key difference. Its lower and upper jaws both had a pair of long fangs that it used to hunt its prey. Like the current-day walrus, the Gomphotaria's diet largely consisted of shellfish. However, the method in which Gomphotaria actually ate its food differed from how its modern-day cousin gets this job done. The walruses of today are known to suck the shellfish that they hunt from out of their shells in order to consume them. Unlike their modern-day counterpart, however, paleontologists and marine biologists suggest that the Gomphotaria most likely would have hammered and cracked open the shells of its dinner with its powerful teeth, exposing its prey's meat through force rather than by pulling it out through suction. Delicious! Number 10. Musk Deer The musk deer is a relative of the more common deer species of the world, although of course there are a couple of differences between modern deer and this rare species. First and foremost, this deer has heavily adapted itself and its body to live in mountainous climates. The musk deer's feet are rough and just perfect for climbing and traversing rocky and steep terrain. It also has no antlers, and most strangely of all, during their mating season, the males all have powerful sets of fangs that protrude from their upper jaws. Yes, Bambi with fangs, how creepy is that? These seasonal fangs are used to fight off other males from prospective mates and give the musk deer an odd vampiric look. In reality though, the musk deer is a pretty shy creature. Its name comes from a musk gland that the deer has on its body that is used to make perfumes and colognes. Oddly enough, while it is thought to be the ancestor of the common deer, musk deer are often said by experts to be more closely related to goats, antelopes, and other similar species. Imagine all of those animals with fangs. In any case, the musk deer is a great example of a living saber-toothed animal. Number 9. The Clouded Leopard Another example of a saber-toothed creature that's still around, the clouded leopard is a small but naturally muscular and particularly skillful member of the feline family. The clouded leopard isn't exactly a fully-fledged saber-toothed cat, however, its fangs are notably long and resemble those of the earliest saber-toothed cat species. They live! Some researchers speculate that the clouded leopard appears to be evolving into a new species of saber-toothed cat and that it will one day be one of the first newly evolved species of saber-toothed felines if given enough time. Sadly, the clouded leopard is endangered and may never get to that point. It is extinct in many countries around the world and absent from most of its original natural habitats. There are efforts in place that are trying to save this very special feline, but if its habitat isn't saved and its species isn't preserved, then what's being done is definitely not enough. The loss of the clouded leopard would be a scientific shame, considering this cat offers us a chance to glimpse how the saber-toothed animals of the past might have evolved at one time. Number 8. Macheroides I know it sounds like macaronis, but I couldn't find anywhere how to pronounce this animal. Let me know if you know how to say it, but in the meantime, I'll just go with it. The Macheroides was a small furry ambush predator. Despite having a tail, walking on all fours, and greatly resembling a cat, they were actually completely unrelated to modern and ancient cat families. Macheroides and cats are a great example of two creatures that evolved separately, but that also developed many of the same traits. This small mammal had little legs that allowed it to speed up quickly to ambush prey on the open grasslands of the Eocene era. Despite looking somewhat like a feline creature though, this ancient animal also had a number of almost weasel-like traits that were present in its appearance. 
However, unluckily for the Machiroides, the ancestors of modern cats of the world just had too many natural advantages and their effectiveness would soon drive this species beyond the brink of extinction. It's odd to think, but if the Machiroides had somehow managed to evolve to fit the modern world, and if the extremely dominant felines of its era hadn't been around to challenge them, Machiroides might very well have been able to have survived until this day, and might have been able to replace modern cats. We all could have had mini saber tooth kitties running around. Number 7. saber tooth Salmon Four million years ago, a monstrous ancestor to the modern salmon swam the waters of the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of North America. The saber tooth Salmon, or Encore Heinches, of the Pliocene Epoch could grow to be up to 9 feet long. That's taller than almost any man who's ever lived and quite a bit larger than any known modern salmon, which don't come anywhere close to being so large. This dire-sized salmon species wasn't just big, it also had sinister-looking fangs that protruded down from its jaw. The salmon species is thought to have used its signature fangs to have battled others of its kind for dominance during its yearly mating seasons. Based on its gill size, scientists think that this monstrous fish ate plankton and krill as an adult and likely did not use its long teeth to kill its prey. Number 6. Uintotherium most of the animals on this list are predators and meat eaters, hence the fangs. Saber teeth are certainly an amazing tool for shredding and tearing your prey apart. The Uintotherium breaks this expectation a bit. About the size of a modern day white rhino, it used its teeth to gather water based plants. To be fair, this humongous herbivore did also use its teeth to fight others of its kind over territory, but for the most part, it used them as a peaceful tool. The Uintotheriums would have looked very much like a blending of a rhino and a hippo, but with a few traits that belong to their species exclusively. Uintotherium are known to have had large horn-like protrusions that stuck out and traced their brow and the crown of their heads which gave them a look all of their own. They were pretty special. Number 5. Dinophilus Dinophilus means terrible cat. These cats were somewhere between a lion and a leopard in size. Most notably, they usually only hunted primates. Yes, those primates. Dinophilus roamed Africa, Asia, and North America, hunting baboons, monkey, and even our early ancestors. This ancient nightmare disappeared, along with a number of primate species, right before the last ice age really kicked into full swing. Number 4. Thylacosmilus one of the saber-toothed cat's ancient rivals, Thylacosmilus is actually closely related to modern marsupials. Unlike the saber-toothed cat, however, Thylacosmilus fangs never stopped growing during its life. Its teeth were actually so long that this four-legged creature even evolved pouches of skin that hung down and protected its fangs when they weren't being used. Unfortunately for this ancient cousin of the kangaroo, no matter how hard it tried, Thylacosmilus just never could beat out the saber-toothed cat. This failure would eventually cause it to go extinct when the fanged felines of its age moved into its natural territory, and all but starved the Thylocosmolus out by simply being better than it at almost everything. Number 3. Caprosuchus The Caprosuchus greatly resembled a modern-day crocodile, but was a good bit bigger. These armored hunters had a thick skin that was almost impenetrable and three rows of saber teeth in its mouth that are unlike the teeth of any other subspecies in its family tree. Also, unlike its modern-day cousins, and most terrifyingly, the Caprosuchus was a completely land-based animal and may have even hunted in packs. We can only imagine what a group of these huge reptiles might have looked like when they were on the hunt, but we'd imagine it was an absolutely terrifying sight. Number 2. Barbarophilus. These odd creatures looked like something between a bear and a massive cat. They were about as big as a lion but were much stronger and could stand on their back legs like modern day bears, something that most cats are completely incapable of. Unlike the cats of its age though, the Barbarophilus was a slow beast, so it likely ambushed and stalked its prey rather than running them down like most felines would. That said, thanks to its crushing strength and dexterity, anything that was caught by this unique predator was very likely to be wrestled to the ground and quickly killed by its threatening bite. Fighting a Barbarophilus would have been like doing battle with a creature that had the flexibility and cold instincts of a cheetah and the crushing strength and pain tolerance of a grizzly. Number 1. The Saber-Toothed Cat Like the Barbarophilus, the famous saber-toothed tiger was powerful enough to hold down and wrestle its prey. The saber-toothed cat was actually much faster and much more agile than the Barbarophilus, though it was not quite as strong. 
The saber-toothed cat made up for its lack of overwhelming strength in numbers and were known to hunt in prides. They either repeatedly jabbed their prey with their teeth until they were dead, or simply ripped out an opponent's windpipe in one fell swoop. It was the saber-toothed cat's sheer awesome agility that made a pack of these beasts a threat to almost any creature. A pride of saber-toothed cats would systematically pick away, weaken, and destroy their prey before mercilessly going in for the final attack. There were actually many, many species of saber-toothed cats. This family of cats was so successful that it spread all around the world and even caused many other competing predators to go extinct. At one time, the saber-toothed cat was even in competition with humans for territory, land, food, and dominance. Imagine what it would have been like to defend your home from a pride of these recently extinct pack hunters. Even with a number of friends on your side, we're willing to bet that doing so would have been pretty difficult. That said, in the end, we were the ones that survived, but these cats stuck it out far longer into modern history than most saber-toothed animals thanks to their adaptability and ferocious will to survive and conquer. Did you learn about any animals that you didn't know existed? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!